Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on a Nikron B74. Now I was contacted by this company. They wanted me to test and review this product. It comes in this clear packaging here. And here is the specs here, 480 lumens on high. This is more of an everyday carry light. Runs on a 14500 cell. And this is a complete kit, so it does come with it. It's my very first Nikron product. So let's wait no further. Let's open this up and see what's in. comes with the manual here, it's folded up really tight here. Try to bring those specs up to you there. Kind of crumpled up. 480 lumens on high. Perfect for EDC carry. And here is the warranty card here. Multiple languages. Comes with a USB charging cable here. And let's take a look at the light. There it is. Now my sample here is red of course. It does have a clip on there. It's pretty heavy duty. Feels pretty strong. It is removable if you don't want that on there. A lot of knurling here. And it is rough too. Pretty nice, you can turn that straight if you want to use a regular flashlight like that. Button is almost flush, but does stick out a little bit. Pretty nice. And this is a magnetic tail, so you can see it's pretty strong. I'm really shaking it quite a bit, it's not coming off of there. Pretty nice. Now the machining on this is excellent. Not seeing any issues at all. Very nice, smooth. Not feeling any sharp edges on there. The head movement is very easy. It's not sticky or kind of rough in any way. It feels really nice and smooth. Now my understanding is this also comes in other colors besides red, so that's nice. Style and design is very nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the smooth reflector there. This is running the Cree XP-L V5 LED. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you the cell that comes with it. Spring on the tail of the cap there. It's 
It's got a little plastic piece. You want to remove that for taking the straight contact point down in the barrel. Can't really see it from here, but and we'll show you the cell that it comes with. It is a 750 milliamp 14500 cell, and you charge it there right from the battery. Pretty nice and convenient. This is a protected cell, so you've got the red when charging, green LED when finished there on the top. Well greased on the threads. So let's go ahead and put this back together here and we'll go through the UI. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and start this off here. We're going to turn it on. Starts off on high. Nice beam profile on this. Kind of a large hot spot there. Not super focused. Fairly large spill on that actually. Pretty impressive. Then it goes down to low. Now if you want to get on strobe on this light you're going to press and hold. Now there is a little bit of a delay and the strobe is one constant speed. And if you press, press and, and hold, hold again it'll give you SOS. And then of course you turn that off and that's all there is to this light. Real simple and easy to use. Very bright for its size. So let's go ahead and take this outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Nikron EDC. This is the B74, smaller 1400 cell. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on here. Starts off on high. Quite a bit of light output for this. Start over here. And it is making faintly across the park. It's 65 feet to that tree from where I'm at. Nice beam on this. Pretty amazing. Now to me it appears to be a little brighter than 400 lumens, but... Making the tree of life there. A lot of spill area here. And that's always useful. Showing you the beam here. Hot spot right there in the center. Very impressive. Okay, we're going to go down to the next level here. Still a lot of that light output here, usable. Thirty-five feet to that water spout from where I'm at, and it is faintly making the tree of life. Can't see it too well on the camera, but I can with my eyes, and it is faint. All right, and we're going to go, and then of course, that's the lowest light output on this one, and if you press and hold, and a little delay there, there is the strobe, and you have SOS. And that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Well, I went ahead and tried out a regular alkaline battery and the light output is still pretty good. It's not as bright as the 14500 of course, but it does run just fine on that. I really hope you enjoyed those night shots. Uh, the performance on this is uh, excellent. The build quality is very good. I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever as far as performance does really well. The beam on it is very nice for its size. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever on this light. Uh, it has a lot of usage. The style and design, like I said, this is my very first one I've ever tested. And now to me this has done just as good as some of the other bigger name brand lights that I've tested and reviewed in the past. So I've got to take my hats off to Nikron. They're making a really nice product. Now I am currently working to get a discount code for this light. If you are interested in getting it, I'll leave a link down in the description. And if I'm able to get a discount code, I'll put it in there with that also. But other than that, this is a very nice flashlight kit. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of light kits to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.